Oh no, hindi ko natanggal ng maayos. Hindi natanggal lahat. So, hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. And for today, I am, we are, going to repot my Drosera Bellian Belliziana. Uh, it's one of my recent carnies. And just to tell you guys, right now, pala, simula pala, um, I am no, by means, I am no expert with carnies. Uh, I just have friends to help me to learn how to take care of carnies and basically how to repot them. This will not be my first time repotting my carnies. I actually experienced repotting my um, Venus flytrap and my DMC Nagtala Venus flytrap. But, th but this is my first time repotting my sundews. Uh, why will I repot my sundews pala? Just to let you guys know. Kasi, uh, I'll zoom it up. If you can see, um, yung ilalim, namamatay na sila. And ganyan din kasi yung problem with Venus flytrap. Uh, namamatay na yung bottom leaves. Kasi hindi sila naaarawan, hindi sila tatamaan ng enough sunlight. So, what we have to do is to repot them and separate them. So, yun. Uh, what you guys be will be needing for... Uh, repotting your carnivorous plants is uh, first off your your ano wait ko na lang ako your sphagnum moss hope you guys can see that and um perlite perlite there you go sphagnum moss and perlite uh, my usual mixture with carnivorous plants is 80% sphagnum moss and 20% perlite. Why do we use perlite? Uh, para sa aeration. Same as with, um, say, succulents, diba? We put uh, pumice not only kasi like sockies for aeration and dra well draining your soil. Uh, on the other hand, dito naman kay... Uh, carnivorous plants natin. The reason why we put perlite is for aeration lang na roots. Uh, why do we not need um, well-draining soil mix and why do we need 80% sphagnum moss? Kasi yung mga carnivorous plants natin love water and basically we are imitating yung swamp-like uh, swamp-like no nutrients at all area kung saan sila nabubuhay. So aside from sphagnum moss and perlite, we also need Water. This water is not just simple water. This water is actually from my AC. <laughs> so, to be able to recycle and hindi masyadong magastos, I use the water from my AC because it has a PPM level of usually 27 to 30. How do I measure my PPM level? I know these guys, uh, maram masyadong maraming information, but I hope you get the hang of it. Uh, I measure the PPM of my water with the uh, PPM tester, which I order online. So, Lazada or sa Shopee, I think it only costs 200 to 300 pesos. So, there. Uh, I measure the PPM level of my AC water. So, pasok naman siya as long as it's below 40. Um... What else do you need? Oh, and in terms of water, you can also use distilled water. And maliban sa distilled water, you can also use rain water. So, yun lang. Hindi naman magasos yung rain water and AC water. Ang magasos if you're going to use distilled water. So, might as well use something na hindi mahal. <laughs> diba? Tapos yun. Measure nyo lang yung PPM before you use it to your carnivorous plants. And also... Uh, don't and never ever use top water. Masyado mataas yung PPM level ng top water. So yun, kasi sinabi ko nga sa inyo kanina, carnies love um, moist, love water, and no nutrients. What else do you need? You will be needing, um, uh, how do you call this? Tongs? Ko alam, mga ganito. So lalo na if VFP yung irerepot nyo. Kasi make sure na hindi matatabunan ng sphagnum moss yung mga little traps ng VFP. So, sa sundus naman, we make sure na hindi matatabunan ng sphagnum moss yung mga yan o, yung mga ilalim na yan. You'll be needing this. Uh, it's very important. And then, you'll be needing plastic pots. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys see other people use other kinds of pots, pero most hobbyists of carnivorous plants, they either use plastic pots or 
Ah, ko, may mga gumagamit pa ng styrofoam. But I've never seen anyone use clay pots. It's also not recommended for you guys to use clay pots. So, I think that's it. And we can start. Um, ako, I prefer na gumamit ng gloves minsan. Though, minsan di naman ako gumagamit ng gloves. Pero, kasi, when we start mixing together the sphagnum moss and the perlite, medyo madumi. Madumi. So, I'd rather use gloves. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is to remove it. To remove it, and we'll use this. I'm going to 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 use this. When you repot your Venus flytrap, it's going to be a little bit. And you'll know that healthy yung, yung mga carnivorous plants if there are growth points, any growth points. Ayoko siya masyadong mawakan kasi baka mas So, hilahin nyo siya galing sa ilalim. Sorry sa sipon. Uh, sipunin talaga ako. I have seasonal asthma and this is my season, unfortunately for me. Um, yung difference between if you guys are familiar with succulents. <laughs> Kasi ako, talaga din ako succulents. The difference between um, carnivorous plants and succulents. Yung mga, car yung mga succulents kasi, white yung roots, ba? Diba? Tapos, pag nakita mo yung brown, brown na roots, usually patay na yung roots na yun. But, with carnies, it's the other way around. Actually, brown yung yung um, roots nila. So, you just, eh, minsan, nagkakamuflad yan sa sphagnum mo. So, you just really have to be careful na huwag matamaan yung mga roots na yun. So, you have to slowly remove the sphagnum moss from the root system and the rhizome. So, talaga, hindi talaga ako masyadong careful. Hindi ko may mga naputol na ako. Parang may mga narinig ako. Sorry, naputol. Oh no! Oh no, oh no, but ayaw. So, ganyan. Pag medyo root-bound yung mga ano natin. Ang galing ko na ha. Pag medyo root-bound yung uh, moss natin with the roots, what I do is naglalagay ako ng water tapos binababot ko dun. Medyo mess messy talaga yung pag re ng mga ganito. Kaya prepare lang kayo. Yan. Mababad ko siya sa water. Tanggal na nga natin para hindi siya makagulo sa ating pinato. Um, if you're going to ask me, can I just reuse this mixture sa mga upcoming plants ko? Yes, you may, but since sobrang tagal na niyang drosera na yan, I'd rather use new soil mix for this one. So, very tedious talaga yung pag pag ano nito, pag remove. Tapos ayaw ka din naman masyadong ibabal sa water kasi baka dumikit yung spot. You just really have to be careful na at mag-pray na wala kang maputol na. So ayan o, tingnan nyo. Ang dami ng, ay sorry naman, ang dami ng patay dun sa ilalim. Kalungkot ito. Yay. Tagal na siya. Sana wala tayong accident in roots. Hindi ko may accident in roots. Yun nilang para yung sphagnum moss na yung kumalas dun sa ating medyo matanda na kasi. Ayan no, ayan na yung roots niya. Diba? So if ikaw compare siya sa saki, ito ang roots nito. Sa saki kasi pinaputol na yan pag brown yung roots. But with Um, carnies. Pag nakita niyo yung roots na yan, ibig sabihin super healthy ng inyong plant. Wala, ang dami niya ng baby sa ilalim. Buti na lang, I decided to repot na. Ano yun? May, may tumutubo na sarili niya yung plant. Ay, sorry. Ano mo? Sa ilalim, di ba? So, that's the reason why you have to check your plants, your carnies, once in a while kasi once naka-adapt sila sa environment nila um, mabilis na lang silang tumubo and they grow really fast 
So, sa iba na nahihirapan sa pagpapalaki ng carnies nila. It's because maybe they're overdoing it or maybe um, yung water na ginagamit nila is hindi right for their carnivorous plants. But it's really easy to take care of them once they're very acclimated with your area, very acclimated with the temperature, the humidity, the lights. <laughs> May natanggal na ako. Ang tagal. Ang hirap tanggal. Eh. Kailangan talaga. Ginisin nyo siya. So, tatanggal muna ako ng gloves. May ako na siya ibabalik pag nag-mix na ako ng mixture na. Hirapan ako. Hala. Kaya po. Hala. No, 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 no. Kaya po masira. Ano. Sobrang dog na naman. Ano. Pero kailangan natin kasi makita yung rhizome. Ay! Hindi ko alam kung nabali ko siya ha. Pero, ayun mo, hiwalay na. Hiwalay na siya talaga. Hindi ko alam kung nabali ko, to be honest. Pero ayun. Hiwalay na siya o. Hindi ko alam kung nakikita nyo. Usually kasi sa Venus Flytrap, um, pag may roots na yung part ng rhizome, uh, the rhizome, yun yung pinaka parang uh, doon ang gagaling yung roots ng plant. Kaso, hindi ko mahanap yung rhizome nito kasi nga, ang daming sparkling roots. So, dadahan-dahanin natin until we be able to go to reach the rhizome. Kailangan talaga, when you when you um, uh, say repot your carnies, matyaga talaga dapat yun. Kasi mapapatay nyo talaga pag hindi. I'll zoom it. Para mas makita nyo. Okay. Uh, hindi na pa. Ayaw kong may mabali. Oops. Ayaw kong may mabali kahit na ano. Pero sobra. Root bound na niya. This is the time when this comes handy. Grabe, sobrang root bound na niya. Oh, nabali ko. Hindi ko talagang baliin, pero hirap-hirap na ano na rin ako na. Yes! Finally, finally. So, ayun na siya. Ito yung isang part nung dinasara ko. Oops, sorry. So, tingnan natin yung rhizome. Ganun yung mga rhizome. Parang oh, super... So, mga palak sa kami. Parang super overdue na. Nung dinasara ko. Right, so mo big girl. Big girl. Makita yung ganito mo. Ito yung bag na niya. Patay na. Sa Venus Flytrap, pag yung mga nalalaglag akong ganyan, kinagawa ko, sinusuksok ko lang yan. Pwede mo pa kasi yung i-propagate. Suksok mo lang, suksok tanim, suksok tanim mo. So, gulat ka na lang na meron biglang tutubong elemento sa lupa. Sinap naman ito. So, mahin na nga natin ito. Para show you guys the rhizome that I had been talking about. Ang ganyan na natin yung mga... Ang ginagawa namin, pag nag-clean kami ng mga carnies namin, somewhere along the way. Tinatanggal na namin yung mga nabulok na. Kasi nga, madadamay pa yung ibang plants. So, kung mapapansin yung bulok na, tanggalin nyo na. Kasi, baka mamaya, yung mga healthy. Nag-repot ka na rin naman. Nandiyan ka na rin naman, tinanggal mo na rin naman. So, tanggalin mo na yung mga. Wait lang ha, palitan ko lang yung water natin. Para mas malinis ko ng maayos. Tapos, magalikan ko ka na. Okay, so I was able to get fresh batch of water na paglulubugan natin itong drusera ko. Alam mo, sobrang over. Alam mo, panak mo lang talaga. 
sa nakausap. Alam nyo, sobrang overdue na ng report nito. Kaya gabi ko, napansin ko lang siya nung isang araw. Nasa'y ko, ba't naman matay mga nasa inyari? The problem is, wala na akong space kapag nirepat ko sila. So, hindi ko siya nirepat for so long. Water is really handy when departing. Kasi nga, yung mga root bounce pag mo mo. Natanggal mo lang sila with water. Ayaw mo namang i-force yung car root mo. Na masira yung roots. Kasi Sobrang kawawa naman, diba? Kasi ang ganyan so, super helpful ng water. Pero, you have to always clean your water at the same. Huwag naman na, wala lang bilisan natin. Hindi ko parang nagsistress na siya. Hindi ko makita yung rhizome. Ayun, I saw another little drosera here. nakakahawa pa yan sa mga bagong plant na. Yung healthy plant. So, yun na. Ang galing na natin sila. Hmm. Ano ko? There are baby drosera. Ay, sabi ka. Baby drosera. Okay, so I'm... <laughs> Kailangan talaga. Namala sa camera. Tapos I had to look really close. So, iba nga nag-magnifying -mag ano pa yung parang glasses para lang dito. Pero, I've seen the rhizome. This part. What I need to do is to actually clean it and divide it appropriately without hurting anyone. Kasi ito, nahiwalay na siya. In as much as parang nahiwalay yung kanina. So, kailangan ko siyang hiwalay ng maayos para mabuhay. Oh, look this one. Hiwalay siya kung sa... See? See? This is a baby. This is... Wait, hindi natin. Okay, yan ako ba ba? Yun. So, yung pag... This is a baby. Tignan natin. Baby, Drusera. Uy! Ayan. Ayan, may roots, oh. Diba? Kaya sabi ko, you just really have to be careful and patient. Patience is the key. Ayan natin. Roots niya. Balikan natin yan, mami. Kumunta tayo kay mami. Mami plant. Ito pa, oh. Meron pang mga babies here. What we have to do is remove it. Itanggal. Tusok natin. Propagate na lang natin. Tutubo yan. Sana. Minsan, maganda. Pag nagre-repat kayo ng mga carnies mo, pa-sounds kayo. Para hindi kayo masyado masistress. Ha! Talaga! Ito na sa inyo magpakita yung rhizome mo. Kasi... Sobrang root-bound na nitong drosera ko. Sobrang kawawa na. Buti na lang pala, I decided to get out of it. Yun! Yay! One more baby! Tumutubo na siya sa ilalim. Ganun na. Kabid yung mommy plastic. See! Hey! One more baby. Super small lang yan. Pero I promise you guys, lalaki yan. You guys are already bored. <laughs> I will just fast forward. Para. Kasi matagal talaga ko. Kaya ko.
And what I'm going to do is to actually divide kasi divide na lang the whole plant, the whole mommy plant kasi ayan no, sobrang sobrang bound na niya. And baka mamaya after quite some time there is a need to repot again. So what I'm going to do is to just maybe divide this mommy plant into two. Make sure when you divide your mommy plant na both both part ay meron pang rainbows. So, alam ko, may mga mag-overlap dyan. Expect ko na yun. Kaya, ito yung hila ng hila. Ito. Okay, yung hila ng hila. Hanapin nyo yung part ng magkakasama at yung part ng hindi. I see one more at all. Ayan na. Oh. Kung may na So I need not to force anything. I just have to remove it carefully. Okay, not unless may makikita pa akong nakatanggal na talaga. Um, I wouldn't force remove anything na. So, I think our dressera is now clean and that's my rhizome from my dressera. Parang gusto ko pa siyang in, eh, hindi pa nakita. Gusto ko pa siyang i-cut and i-iha. Kasi parang or wag na. I'm torn. So, parang, ayun no, siksik pa din siya sa loob. Tingnan natin. Okay. Ah, meron pa. Meron pa siyang nakaseparate. I hope maayos yung camera ko. Pero meron pang nakaseparate. Ayun no. Na plants. Yeah, some people talaga, they use magnifying glasses when they're repotting their corners. Kasi nga, just, you have to really be careful dun sa mga stems nila. There we go! <laughs> oh no! Hindi ko natanggal ng maayos. Hindi natanggal lahat. Ay, i-propagate na lang natin. Pero, kasi crowded na rin naman. Hindi ko na siya hatiin kasi baka mamaya, maubos ko na itong si mommy plants. Kasi na ito, may okay na yan. Okay. So, what we're going to do is to mix 80% of spag, aray? Kaya ko lo, gusto ko yung sarili ko. 80% spag na moss and 20% perlite. Let's zoom out. Ito, 
Kaya, ipakita ko sa inyo yung mga natanggal ko. Kaya, <laughs> sobrang kamawa. We'll put them in a different separate pot altogether. But, we were able to get one, two, three, four, five, six plants from my mommy, Dulcera, and I hope they grow well. Okay, so, let's start with the uh, 50% Pagnum and 20% for life. Ako, what I do with my Pagnum? Kasi, noong una, very paranoid ako na dapat mapapa yung EPM level, ganyan, dapat zero. Pero ngayon, what I do with my sphagnum? Tinatry kong i-wash muna once. Hindi tinatry. <laughs> Yung ginagawa ko, wina-wash ko muna siya once. So, wash mo lang siya. And make sure na basang-basa yung sphagnum niya. Feeling ko, ganyan. So, this is the first batch. And so, for the first batch, we measure the PPM level. So, if you guys can see, medyo mataas pa siya. Ay. Medyo 69. 69. Ah, uh, may hold natin. Ay. Seventy, yung PPM level no ating sphagnum moss. And so, what we have to do is to wash it until it reach 40 and below. So, I'll fast forward everything until I reach 40 and below. Okay now, so guys, um, after four washes, <laughs> four wash, I was able to reach 36 ppm. Uh, for some reason, di ko alam pat ngayon yung aircon water ko mataas yung ppm level ngayon. Pero usually naman kasi ako, um, dalawang wash okay na yun. Ko na <laughs> kung bakit this time medyo natagalan tayo. So dahil 37 na. At saka, usually, hinihintay ko kahit below 30 lang sana. Pero dahil mauubos na rin yung water ko. Um, ano na tayo? Uh, pwede na natin gamitin yan below 40 lang. Uh, unlike succulents, itong sa mga, sa ano natin, sa parnies natin. The only thing that we will add in our mixture is perlite. So, sphagnum moss and perlite. And that's it. Um... Unlike sa mga sakis, di ba? Sa ating, sa ating soil mixture, sa sakis, nagawa natin. Dami ating minimix, like powder, star algae, polyker, ah, uh, what else? Um, minsan, cinnamon pa, ah, uh, fertilizer, dami ating hinahal sa soil mix natin. But with, um, potting your carnies, wala ka masyadong iahalo. Perlite and sphagnum moss is enough. And that's it. You can just repot your plants. Uh, what I do when I repot plants, lalo na if, ayan, nakita natin, small lang naman, nilalagyan ko na yung, ano ko, yung pot ko. <laughs> Ganyan, nilalagyan na natin yan. Kaya mas maganda talaga, marami na yung soil mix na gagawin nyo. Ayan, nagyan nyo na yung pot nyo. Tapos, ituturo ko sa inyo yung tinuro sa akin ng mentor ko when I was starting carnies. What he was doing when he's potting, and we, when we were potting, is we were doing the what he calls lumpia method. So this is the lumpia method. This is how the lumpia method goes. Um, at the base of your plant, be really careful. At the base of your carnies, there and the roots here. And what we're going to do is, we're going to wrap this baby up like a lumpia. So, this one and wrap it like this. 
until you reach a certain point where balot na balot siya. Ah, uh, the reason why he wants it to be the lumpia method para when you are going to repot them, madali nyo lang siyang matatanggal. Kung napapansin nyo, actually, may mommy drosera plant galing yun sa kanya. So, kung mapapansin nyo, yung lumpia method na yun. Kaya, I was able to easily remove the whole thing kasi pinaikot niya lang yun. Pinaikot niya lang yun around the plant. Kaya, nung tinatanggal ko siya, paikot ko lang din siyang tinatanggal. So, itong lumpia method, para sa inyo din to. Para in the future, when you do your repotting, hindi kayo magkakandahirap-hirap na labo-labong titignan kung nasaan yung roots, nasaan yung, yung plant. Kasi madali nyo siyang matatanggal. Kasi nga, ginawa nyo yung lumpia method. So, there you go. And then, you just have to, just the pot, just have to put it over. There. Tapos, punain nyo lang ng spotlum yung paligid. Okay. So, I think it looks good. The last thing that we have to do is to actually check yung pinaka-mother plant if meron ba tayong matamaan na any stem. So, that's why we need this. It's so helpful. So, yan. Hilayin nyo lang siya pataas. Para wala tayong maipit. Kasi alam nyo guys, pag naipit yan, sa spot loan, mabubulok siya. A lot more to go and I'll just fast forward everything up and then maybe cut it kasi medyo madaming pagdadaan so see ya Okay, so we were able to pot <laughs> yung mga plants natin. But remember those um, plants that we accidentally <laughs> and deliberately removed a while ago? These guys, don't throw it away. Uh, we can propagate that. And how do we propagate that? Supposedly, I'm going to use 3 by 3 pot for them. Pero dahil na accidente nga tayo kanina, uh, medyo parang malaking container yung kailangan natin. So, what I have is this. Re-recycle ko na to. Ginagamit ko, ginamit ko na to dati for my other propagations ng carnies. But, this one, we just use microwavable. Ayan. So, nagyan ko lang siya ng mga butas-butas. And then, use another microwavable na walang butas. So, you will be able to put water here. The water that you're going to use, again, always remember, dapat below 40. 40 and below yung PPM. So, dahil marami tayo na disgrasya kanina, Talagay lang natin yung ganyan. Ayan, ba? So, yung mga naaksidente natin kanina, nalagay lang natin siya isa-isa. I hope you guys are seeing this. Kasi pwede mo pa naman talagang i-propagate. <laughs> Naawa ako sa mga natanggal ko. What we can do 
sa mga ito oh, tingnan niyo. May roots to, tsaka rhizome. Ay, sorry naman. Ayan. So, ang gagawin ko, ito, imbis na ibabaon ko lang dapat. Ayan natin. Mix natin. Parang gawin nating ICU. ICU bed. Itong isa natin. So, gawin natin. Gawin din natin yung lumpia method. Nating ICU bed to ng mga droserang <laughs> na ano natin. Ganyan lang. Ganyan lang natin siya. Kasi mga iba pang naaksidente natin. Ganyan dyan. So, lagay lang natin. And then, we hope and pray. <laughs> we hope and pray na dumami sila. Ganun. Kasi kawawa naman. Ito, this one. Meron din siyang head. So, gawin din natin Lumpia din natin. Para hindi sayang. Para wala tayong masayang. Tanim din natin ganyan. Hanggang lang natin siya. Yan. Diyan natin sila. Tapos yung mga natanggal natin. Yung mga napunit natin. Lagyan natin siya. Medyo madami sila. Kaya sabi ko sa inyo, don't try this at home. Dapat hindi ganito karami yung aksidente nyo. It just so happened na marami akong aksidente kanina kasi nga pinilit kong ipaghiwalay. E dat pag gano'n, hindi mo sila pipiliting ipaghiwalay. Lalo na if wala silang uh, roots tsaka rhizome. Tapos yun, medyo takpan nyo lang yung yung wound part pag nilubog nyo. Yan, takpan lang natin sila. Ito. Para manalangin tayo. Tapos, ay, mayroon pa palang isang baby. Ito na iwan. Tanim din natin to. Balikan ko yan na. Hindi ko na siguro i-record yung naiwan ko kasi ang tagal na nung video. <laughs> I, I think you're getting the picture of how you basically plant this thing. So, yun, mayroon pang isang baby. Tanim din natin dyan. Same na lang. Dito na lang sa ating ICU. ICU bed. I see you bed ng ating droserang na aksidente. <laughs> Ayan. So, yes. There you go. And then, what you're going to do is to put water here. Lang, parang lolag ng water. Galing sa aircon ko. Okay, so it should technically well look like this. Yeah. So keep the moist. Make sure that you keep the moist up there. So ito ang ating I see I see bed. And then no kaninang lamis natin na isa. I have to pot that as well. And I'll show you guys you mga na pot natin successful. So wait lang ha. Okay, so we're back. <laughs> Naayos ko na siya. So, somewhere along the way, na-realize ko na sobrang dilim na pala nung pinagsusutan ko. Kaya, I decided na ganto na lang. Ilagay ko na sila dun sa tray and then video na lang sila of what we've done with the baby. So, there. So, I think in total, from the mother plant, we got six different babies plus yung nursery pot ko. And dahil nursery pot ko siya, hindi ko siya sinama dito. Meron siyang separate um, pwesto. And also, if you're asking uh, where am I putting them, they are actually under my Mars Hydro SP150. So, I take care of my carnies with my Mars Hydro SP, SP150. So, ayan na. Yan yung mga babies natin. And We'll wait until we see growth points. Um, medyo puno na yung tree ko. Sobrang dumi niyan, di ba? So, kasi actually, uh, I just repotted my mother plant ng DMC Nagtala. And I was able to get um, 10 pots out of the mommy plant. And now, si Drosera naman. That's why ako, 
hindi ka agad ako makapag-repot because I have a very limited space for my carnies. This is only my space for my carnies. And um, I don't think I want to uh, expand the space that I'm using for my carnies because basically uh, I'm taking care of my sockies pero maka hindi ko kasi sila matutukan pero maybe in the future kasi, kasi tignan nyo ayan yun oh diba <laughs> nahiwalay na siya sa microwave apple so that's it and maybe I can update you guys on what happened with my carnies and uh, again as what I have always been saying in my video what 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 works for me may not work for you but you can try you can experiment so, ayan, last touch, last, <laughs> last touches natin is don't forget to always put labels on your plants. Lalo na yung mga carnies. Kasi actually yung mga carnies, <laughs> nakakatawa. Lalo na yung mga DSP. Yung mga matagal na season hobbies na dyan. Magkakamukha sila. <laughs> so, kung nalimutan nyo talagang maglagay ng label, eh, hindi nyo na maaalala kung anong plant yan. Kaya, kung napapansin nyo yung mga carnies ko, Halos lahat may label. Kasi gusto kong makita kung anong plant sila. Kasi nga, hindi naman ako familiar sa name nila. Kaya, ayun. And also, don't forget to put the date as to when you pot these plants. Para malaman nyo din if in need na ba sila of repotting. So, anong age nila. So, there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed my video today. And I know it looks messy. Um, it looks tedious. Taking care of carnies, spotting carnies, it's, it's messy, it's tedious. But for me, it's also therapeutic. It's very therapeutic. That's why recently I've been wanting to always rip on my carnies. So, funny, diba? Kahit pa sobrang hassle niya. And, but, um... I'm happy. I'm happy with my carnies. But I'm also happy with my sake. So, okay, don't get me. Anyway, um, so you were able to produce six babies and one ICU, ICU bed that we wish mabuhay sila. So, I'll update you guys. And thank you for watching this very long video. And I'll see you again on my, vid on my next video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe my YouTube channel. It's the Greedy Weather. And don't forget to click that notification bell and also if you like quick tips on how I take care of my plants please don't forget to like and subscribe my Facebook and Instagram page it's the greedy weather and if you're looking for plants as well you can check my page and I also sell um, plants there um, I guess that's it and I'll see you again on my next video bye